Hello everybody, in today's video, I wanted to show you the brand new Rod and Staff Grade 2 Science. This is a revised edition. It was just created a few months ago before they had a very thin science workbook and now the Grade 2 Science goes right along with the rest of their science series. So I wanted to show you this. It comes with the student textbook, the student workbook, and the teacher manual. I love that there's a workbook with it. Now, Rod and Staff treats grade two science as an optional subject. They do not believe that you have to do science or social studies in second grade. And in fact, they recommend you don't do it if the other subjects are not being prioritized. So let's take a look at the teacher's manual. So here we have the table of contents. We've got spring, summer, fall, winter, the parts of a plant, seeds, plants and vegetable gardens, plants and flower gardens, the parts of a tree, God's useful trees, the life of a bird, the parts of a bird, birds' nests, what birds eat, what birds do in the winter, animals that help us, wild animals around us, animals at the zoo, ants, honeybees, spiders, the life of a frog, reptiles, the sun, the moon, the stars, the weather, water, the soil, and rocks. So there are 30 lessons in this book. Then there's the workbook answer key and tear out sheets. So let's look here. We've got the introduction. It says there are 30 lessons in this course. Uh, lessons one to four explain the four seasons. Lessons five to 10 introduce plant life. 11 to 23 introduce animal life. 24 to 27 the solar system and weather. And 28 to 30 cover water, soil, and rocks. These lessons can be re rearranged to study them in any order. Uh, let's see. Um, keep in mind, however, that the lessons move from simpler subjects to more complex ones. So the most suitable way to match the lessons to the student capabilities is to study them in the order they are presented. And then we have the workbook, the reviews, beginning lesson five, your review section is included after each lesson. And then there's projects, that there's tear out sheets um, at the end of the pupils workbook. There's grading tips. Some of the projects in this workbook will be easier for the students to do if they're copied on stiffer paper. So purchasers of this workbook are permitted to copy the workbook pages as needed. And you're going to teach the kids that God created the world and every good thing in it, that God created the world for us to use and enjoy. And that science is the study of the world around us. And you're going to reinforce the student's foundation in God's word and inspire the student's interest in science. So the teacher book has a smaller reproduction of the student book. And then on the sides, it gives points to teach and then teaching lesson one. And then here at the bottom, it says beyond the text, can the student name some signs of spring that are not listed in the lesson? And then there's an additional activity, planting seeds. Here's our lesson two, has the points to teach and teaching the lesson beyond the text. Lesson three, there's an additional activity, leaf collection. Is the workbook project, make a winter homes picture. Additional activities, leaves collect energy, and you're going to plant bean seeds and a leaf drawing. Seed collection, seed germination. So I wanted you to see this to know that there are the additional things in this teacher's guide that I do think makes it valuable to get. Uh, dried food, make a plants and vegetable gardens picture in the workbook. Tree poster, research the boabab tree.
date bird poster, drawing eggs, drawing chicks, make a bird mobile, a bird sighting chart, write a nest story. We actually have a nest in our grapevines right now and, and we went on vacation and there was two eggs before we went on vacation and we came back from vacation and there was two little baby birds. Make a bird feeder. Make a suet cake. Make a paper bird feeder. Write a paragraph about your farm animal or pet. Make farm animal posters. Write a paragraph about a wild animal and read a storybook about a wild animal. Visit a zoo with your students. Who doesn't love that? So you get the idea. There's lots of extra projects. Now I'm going to turn to here. This is the answer key for the workbook. And then beyond that, we have the tear out sheets in here, but you don't tear them out of here, you tear them out of the workbook. So let's go ahead and take a look at that workbook. So the workbook is consumable. So if you did have more than one student, you probably wanna get them each a workbook. And so here's for lesson one, we've got four pages. So you, if you wanted to do this four days a week, you could do one page a day a day, you could do it two days a week, do two pages, or you could just do it all in one day. And really break it up however you like. Here's the review, which is like their little quiz or their little test to do. of exercises as you can see there's fill in the blank writing you know the words matching true and false here's another review labeling so after lesson five there's a review for each lesson so I like that just uh, shows if they've gotten the main concepts of that lesson And then here are the pull-out sheets, and they are perforated. Again, these are just bigger pages of that that was in the teacher guide. So it's not too much reading. 
most second graders would probably be able to read this on their own, but maybe at the beginning of the year, some might have a little more difficult time, so obviously you can read it to them. But I think this is very manageable as far as the size of the, the lessons. Kind of flip through some more. Lots of real pictures, as you can see. I really actually appreciate that, that they do have so many real pictures. Okay, so there you have it. That is Rod and Staff's new second grade science. If you have any questions for me, put it down below. Make sure to, to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you love all things homeschool.